So there is no need to discuss this question. Huh? You will solve it yourself. Uh, yes, sir. Um. This. This topic is about uh, transformation of the graph as well. This is just like. Uh, let me, we... The curve C has equation y is equal to f of x. Given that f of x is a quadratic expression, the maximum turning point on C has coordinate minus 2, comma 12. C cuts the negative x axis at minus 5. So find f of x. So now it is a quadratic uh, expression and its turning point is given. So as the turning point is given, so we will use completing the square format that is vertex format. So f of, f of x will be, it will be a times and turning point is maximum point. It means the shape of the curve will be like this. So this is the maximum point. For this shape, the completing the square format, the vertex format will be look like this. So vertex format will be look like this f of x q minus a times x minus p whole square or x plus p let me write x plus p okay so because that the turning point this is the turning point so i will put this is x this is y so, sorry, this is P, this is Q. Okay, so now then Q is 12 minus A and we have to change the sign of this minus 2. It will become plus 2. So, X plus 2 all square. So, this is this is the format. You understand okay. this? Okay. Uh, you understand this step, G? Huh? Yes, sir. Okay. Now we have to find what is the value of A. For that we should have a one more information. And that one more information is this one. The curve cuts the negative x axis at minus 5. So it means it is x intercept. So the coordinates are 5 minus 5 comma 0. So we will put this in this equation. So it is 0. 12 minus a x is minus 5 plus 2 whole square so i will bring this my it will become minus 12 and it, it will become minus a minus 3 whole square so it is it will become minus 9 a and a is uh, minus 12 over minus 9 which is uh, 3 4s are 12 or 3 3s are so a is 4 over 3 so f of x is f of x is 12 minus 4 over 3 into x 
plus 2 whole square. So this is the equation of f of x. Yes, sir. This is completing square shape, okay? So okay. this is this is an, another format. This is another format. So you can use any one. Uh, you can pick any one format. So our, this answer is correct. Okay. There are three formats for quadratic equation. One is called vertex format. That is completing the square format. The second is called root format. And third one is called standard standard equation format. So you so I picked this uh, vertex format in which we used completing the square format. So our answer is correct now. Uh, the next is the line L1 has equation this. Given that the line L2 is perpendicular to L1 and passes through this find equation of L2 writing your answer in the form mx plus c. So I hope you can do that. Huh? Yeah. So now in the next one figure 2 shows a sketch of a curve c and the line L1 and L2. c define the region R shown shaded in figure 2 using inequality so define the region r using the inequality okay G. So this region, uh, it is bounded by this curve. Okay, so so I, we discuss it. If the curve is look like this, then this region is greater than region. Okay. And if the curve is look like this, then this region is less than region. Understand? So here the curve equation is so this curve this is the equation of the curve so it will be f of x less than and equal to this so let me use this big bracket 12 minus 4 over 3 x plus 2 whole square so this is the one inequality and now L1, L1 is this one. So here the region is above L1. So it is y is greater than or equal to 4 over 5x and in a similar way this region, this region is also above L2. So L2 is y that is greater than or equal to minus 5 over 4x minus 25 over 4 so in two cases we have greater than and and for curve we have a less than so these are the answers so all the answers are correct you have to find the value of y from this and put that value y in this oh okay it, okay it, it will become this okay next one and then you have to solve this equation you will get this is coded quadratic so you will get some x from here then you put those x back into the y and you have to find y so please do this question at home and see this and give your answer fully simplified search form the question seven this is you have to find the curve f of x so it is integration huh? with and you have to find the constant for inti integration as well okay so i think you should do it yourself also and check okay now this question number this question is question number eight see this this is ceiling fan so 
it is i think sector of the circle find the perimeter and the surface area here can you go over this one sir okay question number 8 figure 3 shows a sketch of the outline of a face of ceiling fan view from below the fan consists of three identical sections congruent the all these are all congruent to o a b c d o o o a b c d o acha where o a b o is a sector of a circle with center o and radius 9 ji so this is sector na huh? this is sector this is sector here sector okay and the radius is 9 9 9 like this 9 cm and this is a sector of the circle sector sector of the circle with center o and radius 84 cm yeah ma So this one, ji. Let me use the this one. So this one. Ye jo it is nine. This is nine. This is nine. But this whole one is. Uh, yeah, from eighty four. Eighty four from here. Eighty four. So it, this is from here. Up till bottom here, it is eighty four. So it means the rest is eighty four minus nine, seventy uh, five. G and angle A O D. A O D. A O D. This is this angle. It is two pi over three radian. Given that length of the arc AB is fifteen, arc AB, this small arc, the length of this arc, it is fifteen. Yes, sir. Fifteen. Yes. The angle A or D touches the line. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Angle A or D. A O D. This much. Okay. That's fine. Thank you. This angle is two pi over three. Okay. Good. जी अच्छा गिवन दैट ये 15 हो गया 15 हो गया एंड शो दैट लेंथ ऑफ द आर्क सी डी इट इज 35.9 सेंटीमीटर टू वन डेसिमल प्लेस सो नो द फर्स्ट वी हैव टू फाइंड दिस एंगल जी we have to find this much angle this angle how much is this angle so this is again a sector and arc length is what is the formula of arc length s is equal to r theta yes so arc we use the r9 15 and radius is 9 and 15 and theta so what is theta 15 over 9 please Uh, your your calculator must be on radian mode okay okay 5 over 3 it is 5 over 3 so this angle is 5 over 3 so radian acha so this angle is it's mean this this much angle ab if we subtract if we subtract this angle from the total so we will get this angle so can you subtract this angle 2 pi over 3 minus 5 over 3 what's the answer 0.4 3 Zero point four three. Radians. Just there are only two decimals. 
No, I rounded it. It's 0 0.42777. 7, 7. 7, 7 means? 7. 4, 2, 7. No. Can you, can you tell me the up to 4 decimal place answer? 0 0.4277. 4, 2, 7, 7, 7. So it means 4 put 7, 7. Okay. So this is our answer. Hang on. Achha. Now, what we have to do, we have to find show that the length of the arc CD. Okay, now we have to find the arc, length of the arc CD. Challenge, so we did this, so let's start now. So, we have, point. okay, so let me erase this. G, up arc length, jo hai, that is again S is equal to arc theta. R is 84 an angle is 0 0.4277 so can you check what is the answer Thirty-five point nine two. Thirty-five point nine centimeter so we have shown the okay we have shown result okay same answer okay. चलें इसको आप ट्राई करें ठीक है तो लेट मी नो इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास और